<laughs> Welcome, mortals, to the Not Bad Podcast. The comment of the day comes from Ready Up, saying, I believe that Joe is a part of all of us, not as a human being, but as a form of motivational thoughts that get us through our days. God bless this world, and certainly Joe too. <laughs> Thank you, Ready Up, for that comment. And now, this is a special podcast and a special episode. We're doing a Halloween episode. So sit back, foolish humans. And let's just get this, okay? I'm done with the voice. I'm not gonna lie, you sounded a lot like Invader Zim on that last fucking <laughs> foolish, <laughs> foolish humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude guys you have no idea how much takes it did to just do this intro please oh, no, like know. i'm not even like <laughs> yeah but they don't 14 <laughs> minutes gonna see, like, 14 the... minutes in the recording and we just did <laughs> actual <the intro>. <laughs> well it, well we we kind of bantered a little for like nine minutes hilarious. you should have been there <laughs> yeah guys you should have been there to be honest um but yeah, it took ten, it took a while. I'm not even like saying please like the video as a joke at this point. Please like the video, please. Um, yeah. So, anyways, this is a special Halloween podcast, guys. So we're gonna be touching on a lot of spoopy, scary stuffs. You know what I'm saying? Are you uh, Are you guys excited, my co-hosts? Um, I'm not sure. Well, you know what? That's not the energy I want, okay? <laughs> we talked about this. This is not why I pay you, all right? You don't pay me. I, I pay you very people. handsomely. Don't listen to him. A lazy cut that out. I, you don't want to get paid at all. Editor Wait, lazy doesn't paid? get paid either. He told me. Editor lazy is man, okay? He gets paid. Because he doesn't. He does it out of How pure love get? and he doesn't <laughs> mind. <laughs> How but much did he mind. get paid? Hmm? We mind. <laughs> we how like much money. do you pay him? <laughs> how much do we pay him? Um, ten schmeckles, and that's enough. To be honest, ten yo, whole huh? ten schmeckles with the exactly. That's what I'm saying. This guy gets spoiled. To be honest with you, ten schmeckles. Could you believe it? Could you believe? Could you believe? You know, I can. I, I can you believe? Him. No. Thank you for exactly. letting me be able to put some text on the screen that nobody's gonna be able to read. You're welcome. <laughs> Both the yeah, you're boomers welcome. are agreeing right now. Like, you're actually boomer too. Okay, don't even, <laughs> don't boomer, even stuff. And everyone knows, bro, bro. You Listen, boomer, if okay? if Lazy's boomer. baby, I mean, uh, Proto or Boomer, that automatically qualifies you as middle aged. Middle aged, just feel middle aged. <laughs> middle aged. <laughs> you middle aged man. Yeah, you are Gen oh. X. I, I literally, not too long ago, just turned 17. I'm the youngest. I know most people I know. It's sad. But it's also cool. Bro. Bro, didn't you, like, skip a grade or something? I didn't skip a grade. Basically, I was born before the school year, so I was younger than everyone. Mm -hmm. So I, could, I, I was just younger than everyone, and I got passed. So when people supposed to be now going in class 4 at... Like what? Ten? I was going in there at like nine. Ah, yeah, yeah okay. So, so you, you yeah. skip yeah. the grade. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm, whatever, You're intellectual. Lady. Yeah, I'm big brain. Right. Big bread. Five head. This man right here, to be <laughs> five honest. Five head. <laughs> Actual Yo. five head in the flesh. Mega but uh, yeah, um. Leave us a spooky moment in the comment section down below. I actually want to hear like what's like a scary moment in your life, like genuinely, <laughs> not not like oh the time my wife left me or whatever, like a genuine like, <laughs> bro, this it is all scary. Started bro. When I, I mean, was born. It all started. It all started. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no. leave a leave leave a leave a bromant. All right, please, please. Um. But yeah. Um, Roman. That was my intro, um, because we're doing these intro things now. There's no off the day anymore. And uh, let's get into the first topic. Okay. Huh? I didn't... Wait, I have to turn you up in Discord, actually. Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, I said we do intro things. Uh, what intro thing? 
What's an intro? <laughs> that was an intro, bro. Like, I mean, bro, you crazy. You tripping. I, I didn't say any intro. Only Happy <laughs> did it, right? Like, all right. Okay, okay. Next, next intro is yours. All yours. Isn't the guest coming you can, you next get the, episode? He, like, yeah, exactly. You get the special guest intro, bro. What do you mean? No, the, get, no, the special guest always does the intro and outros. I thought they yeah. just do the outro. No, yeah, I thought they just do the outros. Did they? Wait, I don't know, man. I'm high. And I'm going to continue <laughs> to be that way. Revamp, guys. Guys, <laughs> revamp. They only do the outro now, guys. Okay. <laughs> just accepts it. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Anyway, All what's right. the first topic? First topic, um, your worst nightmare. And I'm speaking on a literal sense. Like, what is the worst, most memorable bad dream you've ever had? I don't really remember much bad dreams, but I can't tell you a dream that I had, like, a couple hours ago. Was oh, it bad? Well, it wasn't, like, bad. It was more like, like, like I'm not going to tell you, like, what happened, because I don't really remember. It's more like I'm just going to tell you the gist. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, I'm in this school. Right. You can't tell, but I did air quotes. But, like, nightmare. I, I originally nightmare. went, like, it's a school, like, for, I go there for to get my food handler's license. Right? Mm-hmm. So, I fell asleep in the middle of, like, one of my classes. Okay. And, like, mm-hmm. Please stop. <laughs> the um, <laughs> so I had to be there from like one to four, and I fell asleep from like two to like three, <laughs> and that whole time I dreamt that like I was doing the class, and they ended my dream at, like the, my dream ended with me leaving, and then I woke up in the class. <laughs> Wait, you woke up in your dream or in real life in the class? I like I like I fell asleep. In my dream I left. And I woke up and I was still in the class and I was super confused and they said I was asleep for like a really long time. I was like, "What the fuck? What happened?" <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you woke up like in the dream, which is just like weird. Oh, in its own sense. That. <laughs> yeah. Was it did it feel like one of those dreams that you're like Oh, oh, it's just a dream. Like, you're genuinely, like, surprised. Yeah, I was when genuinely you wake up. surprised. Because, like, yeah. I was literally about to leave. Like, I literally open the door and I just wake up. <laughs> Sitting in my chair, just like, what the fuck happened? I thought I was about to leave. <laughs> that's, exactly what was, that's exactly what was going on in my mind. And, like, I look at the time and it was fucking three. It's like, god damn it, I have another hour to be here. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> um, anyone have any actual nightmares, though? Um, I do. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. go ahead. I'm still thinking. Okay. This one, okay. I literally avoid horror films and all those at all costs. Because of the level of shit that my nightmares are. They are horrifying. So, I was asleep, you know, dreaming a dream. How I normally do. And then, I kept on having this thing where every time that, like... Okay, so Chucky was in my dream, right? You, you know how that shit goes. Classic. So my na- classic. Every time he stabbed me, I woke up, but in the dream. In a new location in my house. And I had to fucking try and find the phone to, like, call the police or get a gun or something. And it was like a fucking video game. And it continued for hours upon hours upon hours on end. Did you, like, retain the memories of... Did you retain the memories from the last time you got stabbed? I... No. No. Like, I I did, but every time I woke up in a new part of my house... So he would be in the last part of where he was last time. Oh, it is like a video game. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. And then like I finally woke up and I was in my bed and I didn't know if I was dreaming or not. All I knew is that there was something behind me as oh. I was laying down. And I'm like, if I turn around, he'll kill me. If I roll over, he'll kill me. I am not fucking safe. And so I stayed like that for a couple of hours until I was finally able to reach my phone. And then I had to hypnotize myself to forget the dream. I can think about it now, but back then I couldn't remember it at all. And like it slowly came back over time. 
But that shit was so bad. I had to hypnotize myself to make sure I was awake. To make sure that I would Yikes. remember that dream at that time. It was so fucking horrible. Yikes. That, rem- that reminds me of something that happened to me, like, actually today. I wasn't able to, like, I, I was awake literally all night. It's like I just couldn't sleep. Um, so, what about you? Like, I just had a feeling that, like, something was just behind me watching me. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So if I literally move, something, something's right there, and I know it. So if I <laughs> Bro, move, I know they're going to okay. know. They're going to know that, I, that, that I'm awake. <laughs> uh-huh. So I just can't move. And then I look back, and nothing was there. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> pretty much... The main thing that got me paranoid of that was this fucking stupid TikTok that Puma made. Yes, Puma, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he, 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 he sent me a TikTok of some guy lying in bed. And it was like, pretty much, you know how in Minecraft you can't sleep with monsters are nearby, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means if you can't go to sleep, there's danger nearby. <laughs> and like, that, that just stayed in my mind. And this is like, <laughs> you God. Got, you, got, you got spooked by a TikTok. <laughs> Bro, literally, my mind just went to, well, I can't sleep. Something's here to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. What about you, Steph? Oh, I really can't recall any of my nightmares. I don't know why. I know I had nightmares. Okay. But I can't recall them. Yeah, but same. I, can I, I can't recall. Like... moments. Uh, that all uh, all of them happen sim like it's all basically the same experience but in different times of my life. So one wait time, wait spooky like moments in lo- real life. Yeah, spooky moments in real. Oh life. no, we 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 we'll, we'll get to that topic. There, there's no, a topic I have here something to that. talk about on that topic as well. But I that's why I'm sharing this on this topic. Don't worry, man. I might be high, but no stupid. All right. All right. Anyway, so okay. um, there was one time where I chose to go to sleep like a normal human being because I had work tomorrow. And then I heard a woman call my name, just like, Steph. I did not answer. I know not to answer that shit. So I was like, yeah, my mom don't live in this house no more. And, you heard <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard it again, Steph. I was like. Yeah, I'm staying completely still. Yeesh. My body is cold as fuck, but I'm going to sleep. I am not moving. Bro, I went to sleep. I went to sleep, but I was so... Who uneasy. could sleep after that? Oh my god. It took a while, but I went to sleep. You have to just ignore it. That's what you have to do. Ignore it and forget. Just empty your mind. It's going to be hard to master, but you got to empty your mind. And this time, this other time, it was different. Because I had my door open. And Rose was barking. Now I thought she just saw a human being by the window. Because she likes to go and look at the road and see normal innocent people walking by. And just go like, hey, fuck you. I'm going to bark at you now. Right? <laughs> bork, bork. But no, the barking led to the kitchen, I think. And I was just laying down trying to sleep. And then it led right into my room. And she was just barking right next to my bed. And I felt something in my presence and I was just there still just like well fuck now I gotta breathe because if I don't breathe I might catch a fucking panic attack what the fuck is in my room and why she's going bro, so I crazy told at it you. No, I, told I know you your I know. house was haunted bro I knew from every bro. sense I don't know if it's a house or if it's something with the family because like I've had experiences in other houses too I can't remember them now, cause terrible brain. But... Remember the one time I was at your house, bro, and yeah, like we'll I saw something near that. the washing machine. Yeah, yeah. Yikes, bro! Oh my god. But uh, yeah. <laughs> your house is crazy, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but I learned to live. Um, with it. I... I hope you don't die. Is <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say. I mean, <laughs> I guess. 
I, I had um I, I also can't recall much nightmares. When I was writing this topic, like initially when I thought about the topic, I remembered a nightmare that I had, but then I I it completely slipped my mind. You didn't remember. But then I remembered another one. No, I didn't write it down. Wow. I was actually like after that nightmare that I woke up from First of all, I woke up from that nightmare kind of just like wrangled. Like, you know when you had a like a real like real good sleep? You wake up all like your joints and shit just <laughs> don't work. <laughs> you become Stephen Hawking. <laughs> you become Stephen Hawking for a few seconds in bed. You just wake up like wrangled and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's how I woke up from that dream, bro. But there was a, also a dream I had like when I was way younger. Um, it was a dream. It's, it was short because I can't remember much of it because I was younger. And it was a dream on top of that. So the fact that I remember this is just a miracle. I was ice skating? Question mark? Um, and I was in this, I was in this really big ice skating, this really huge, like, ice skating, uh, thing like i was on a lake with some people but it was like a very few amount of people and we were like spread apart to not bother each other and i just see this darkness this creature just sprinting at me on on ice you know <laughs> and i'm just like holy shit all right, cool. Wow. Okay. And I just start ice skating away. And I, with my ice skates on, I I still like I jump off the whole like ice part, and I was still somehow skating through an alleyway. And I was just booking it while this creature was like right behind me. Um, and then somehow I reached to like an, a house, and behind the house, the creature finally got me, and the creature started to literally rip my guts out. Like, straight up, like, savagely claw my, my abdomen, dude. And I Damn, woke up. deep in them guts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, <laughs> I jumped out of my sleep, and I could still feel, like, vague, like, clawing on my stomach, dude. I shit you not. I woke up with the feeling, dude. Oh my god, that shit messed me up. Oh, but yeah, that was that was my nightmare. I can't remember the other ones, but they were like really, really scary. Uh, but yeah, that was I, the nightmares, guys. You just made me remember a nightmare that I had for like the stupidest reason. Go All ahead, right. share it then. Um, so, in school, primary school, when I was a young kid, I did go to school with my cousins. All three of them, we went to the same school. But one of them was a girl. Two of them were a girl. Were girls, but one of them was around the same age as me. And two of them were a girl. Yeah. <laughs> fuck off. With your pretty girl. Um, so in a class that is the number four, I do not know if that works in the American language, but I don't give a fuck anyway. There was a friend that was my best friend at the time who liked her. Now, I, w I thought this was hella cute. I wanted them to get to each other, but, but they were too, like, we were kids. All of them were kids, so they were, like, hella shy with their emotions. And he didn't want to go tell her I liked her. And it was this time where she asked him to be her, um, her valentine, but, like, they didn't really do much. It was, like, adorable, right? So in real time, I was really just trying to push this to happen. But then this one night, I had this weird ass dream. So the but the school actually got a van for once, for some reason, to go um, on a tour, and we ended up in town. And then my cousin and the best friend were sitting by the waters, and I think they kissed or some shit. And I don't know, I just got in the van and I was like speeding or some shit. Because I saw some man in a suit. And then the man in the suit turned into like two men in the suit. And then they start came coming from everywhere. Eventually they cornered me in like a, the, like a center, the central part of town. And it was just all over. No human beings. No people other than these men in suits. 
all surrounding me. And I'm just there laying on the ground. I'm like, well, shit, I'm about to die. Right? And all these men with suits, they're just, they filled the whole town, by the way. I got like a top view, because you know how dreams are. I got like a top view of them filling like the whole fucking island. Right? So I was like, well, shit. And then the dream ended with a guy pulling out a pistol with a silencer. And then I wake up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you wake up like, oh yeah. I'm like, Yo, you're you're you actually um, you reminded me of the dream that I got after of my grandma. Um, oh God, <laughs> this happened. Well, my other grandma. Oh. It's very complicated, but this happened after she. This happened the night, the night after she died basically Ooh. after her funeral not after she died after her funeral i got the first i had two dreams that night one dream and this was this i remember this shit dude um the first dream for the night the first dream was her like it was a nightmare she was just raised from the dead and was like tormenting me and then after I woke up and I went to sleep, the second dream was a good dream of her. Oh. I don't know what that meant, but all I know that happened right after her funeral and that that shit was just creepy as shit, dude. I mean, they they do preach that dreams have a deeper meaning than just normal dreams. Like my mom yeah, fully yeah. believed that as well. She was like, yeah. When you dream, um, when she was pregnant, because, like, all of us, I ain't gonna lie, all of us were surprises, but that doesn't mean she doesn't love us at all. She says that, and I don't even know that. She's a mother. Anyway, she said, she said to me that she's feeling sick, and she had a dream about fishes, and basically, long story short, when you dream fishes, you're pregnant. And when she took the test, she saw she was pregnant, and she was like, yeah, well, I had the dream, so I already kind of knew. <laughs> you didn't surprise me, science. Fuck you. So, yeah, <laughs> like, my mom believed in it. She real life proved it to me, and I was like, well, shit, I believe in this shit, too. Like, dreams must have a deeper meaning. I believe. My mom's um, dreams well, have a deeper meaning, and they're not always good. Fuck. I believe that like at least for me um some something would happen in my dream and then it would happen ages after in real life it could be the next day or it could be the next couple years but that's my mom's dream but so vision I get only I get a deja vu moment literally a deja vu moment well but it's what weird. my mom's on it's not like a deja vu moment it's more like something bad happens in her dream and in real life it could be a day or it could be a year but something bad is going to happen and it's going to be correlated yeah. with that dream and she doesn't dream of, um, unless it's a bad dream which I don't like that happens I don't like when that happens because like dreams are epic but that's yeah, just how she epic, is bro. You, know? you, should, you should like give her tips to lucid dream maybe that'll help her I told her she needs to research lucid dreaming yeah it's genuinely good um but yeah um next topic is what is your biggest fear and i'm not wait, talking wait, wait, about wait, like wait 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 i have two more stories actually okay so um i, I think i already said this one on the podcast so i'm gonna go with a different one fucking right right up to my house there are um Fucking project buildings, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's a bunch of fucking, like, ghetto-ass kids living over there. Because the projects, yeah. Yeah. And fucking... My dog, he doesn't like people outside, like, my house. Both, like, like literally outside my house and, like, people outside the people who live in my house. So, if people get near the gate or anything, he'll just start barking, and he won't stop unless they go away. So, these kids are fucking stupid, and they <laughs> yell at the dog to shut up, but he <laughs> won't stop, because he's next to, because, like, it's like somebody saying, 
get the fuck away from me. And you're like, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'll stop yelling at you if you get away from me. Can you like be quiet? It just not be <laughs> like you get what I mean, right? Like that's fucking stupid. So then they start throwing rocks at the gate that blocks like that's like Why um, did I predict between that? They started throwing rocks at the gate that's like um between my house and the project buildings. So then, like, d- by the way, this is, like, at, like, 1 o'clock a.m., by the way. <laughs> so, th- like, so throwing rocks and shit. Like, I'm just in my room hoping that they don't fucking throw a rock and hit my dog. Or else I'm literally gonna go there and fucking throw hands. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my hands at niggas. Bruh, throwing rocks so- at my gate was enough, bro. I'm going out there. The fuck? <laughs> so, like, so then... They broke a fucking window. You see that? It you was, just it's right it. next to mine. Oh, fucking. Excuse my fucking. My mom went over there and fucking had my a stern mom. talk with. Which one? <laughs> she bugged uh, out. The biological one. Uh, my my stepmom wasn't here. had a stern talk with their moms, and oh boy, the window yeah. is still broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, they, they didn't stop throwing rocks at the gate. But then eventually they did. Bro. So yeah, basically... People are uh, fucking... I hate... This is why I hate basically, people. Basically... I just hate people. Words do nothing. Beat up people. <laughs> oh, words Kill do people. Something. That'll teach him. Words do something uh, when you back your words. Because years back in this same neighborhood, in this same neighborhood, my own bicycle would be ridden away from me and I would be running behind it. Them niggas won't dare do it up to this day. I've earned my respect out here, and if I say something, I mean it, so they don't test. Words do mean a lot. <laughs> test my gangster. You just gotta fucking back it. <laughs> I don't act nowhere near hood, not in, I don't act nowhere near hood, and I live in the hood. And these niggas won't test me. What do you mean you don't act nowhere near hood? Look at how you're talking right now. Yeah, bro, I don't act <laughs> nowhere near hood. You know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> My mom was dreaming about fishes. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I. <laughs> Rusty, you know me. I don't oh, yeah. Know. See, on my other dream, I think I already said this on a previous episode, but uh, I'm gonna say it again. You know, back back when like YouTubers wanted to be the next Chris Hansen, right? And they were like doing like those fake pedophile fucking chasing things, you know? Mm-hmm. Or like those things where like they were like. Get their mom to test their children to see if they were going. Yeah, yeah, you said danger. this on the podcast already. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> Fucking. I had a dream. I was in the middle of a park. I don't know why. But then, fucking. This van shows up. And, like, a bunch of men come out. <laughs> I remember one specifically. One was recognizable. Guess who it was? <laughs> Joey fucking Salads. <laughs> actually. Joey Salads comes out of the van. <laughs> and it's funny because he actually did these pranks on his YouTube channel. And he's like... <laughs> like... <laughs> Yo, you want to ride? I'm just like, yeah, nah. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Better get into fucking van, and he starts fucking like <laughs> grab my legs. I'm on the ground, fucking. Yeah. They Scraping. all the rest of the men's fucking. Oh this guy! <laughs> yeah. Oh this guy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the piss drinking guy, Bear grill. Yeah, yeah. He drunk. He drunk his own piss. Oh god. Oh god. Also, he's run. Also, he's um running to be a politician, <laughs> which is really funny. That is indeed hilarious. Fucking. So yeah, the rest of the men are like grabbing me, and they're just like trying to force me into a van. I'm struggling a bunch, and I and I end up kicking one. But then I woke up because instead of kicking them, I kicked my wall and I woke myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when like a dream is going really good and you it ends like you could feel yourself get like drifting back into the real world. Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. Want to know something really crazy about that dream? 
before. No, like no, I'm a couple yeah, but... a couple months later, when I was walking home from school, a red minivan was parked on top of like at the end of the block where I lived, and it was this old ass man. <laughs> like I'm talking like sixties, eighties. This nigga was a boomer, right? Oh, damn, like he was a boomer, boomer boomer and he asked boomer. me if i wanted a ride oh. like he didn't like s- yeah and i was like yeah no nah, i'm fine like he drove off but it's like it still fucking creeped me out <laughs> damn bro what the actual all right fuck? next topic because we're literally like half an hour in and we haven't moved on from the first topic bro it's crazy you know bro look at god look at god's work What's your biggest fear? <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> um my biggest fear. Uh I'd like say something maybe... like something ridiculous. That's what I mean. Oh, like it doesn't oh. have to be realistic. Nothing so oh, metal, well. just be, just something you you're scared of. Oh, I don't really have something that I'm like legit scared of. I mean I'm scared of I'm scared of fucking um Roaches, just cockroaches in general. I fucking hate those fucking I second that. Bro, if a cockroach fucking... If a roach just crawls on your hand for like a split second, that hand is never feeling the same. No, no, you feel that shit forever, bro. Exactly. You can't wash that feeling off. Like the fuck? Steph bro, has some therapy. Steph had some need... roach moments in his life and I just Yeah, I know. Sat he told he told laughed. one of those on the podcast and I remember it specifically. <laughs> Dude, there were like so much roach about, like, moments that I like pre- were, that like I like you were cleaning out like so. some like closet or something and like your uncle yeah, yeah. or like your dad just threw a fucking roach at you. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this one time where my where my uncle that's one year younger than me, my I think my mom or my dad killed a roach. And he, cause he, he's such a good little boy. He, he's, he's such a good little boy in the face of my mom and my dad. And he's gonna pick up the roach and he's gonna throw it away. Now I'm in the hallway that he has to pass and he sees me just there like, nigga don't get close with my body, you know? I'm just there showing that I am, I don't want you to do what you think you are about to do. And then he did exactly that. That nigga went nose close. Yo, nose close with that road. That road was in I between hate my that shit. And I was I crying hate that. for a bit. I was like, yo, get it away. Get it away. <laughs> and he's there laughing. I, I hate when, like, you. the you, antenna, you. laughing his ass off. And my mom's there in the kitchen laughing too. I'm like, the betrayal. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'd be our own people. <laughs> your I own hate people. when, like, you, you, you. You tell someone, hey, no, and then they just, like, like especially yeah. with an insect, and then they just want to just be an asshole, and ugh, that shit pisses me off, dude. Um, anyways, I'm going to just say my biggest fear here. My biggest fear is one day waking up and just, like, there's just centipedes everywhere. Like, the floor is just filled to the brim with centipedes, and I can't move. Guys, I can't get off my bed. Guys guys remember uh remember earlier fucking joey salads like remember he's running for like something in the government no remember when i said that yeah he's running for congress in new york I don't know why does it have is. to be new york in new york i'm really fucking- at. No, just like why? Why out of all states? Why does it have to be the one that I'm in that he's running for fucking Congress? <laughs> well shit, bro. Well, shit. God damn it. Yeah, Joey Salas is Congress, hopefully. Also, apparently he's a Republican. Don't know what that means because I'm not. I'm not in the politics. Me neither. Proto, what does being a Republican? I don't mean? fucking know. I'm not into politics. Well, you, well, you know what a liberal is. Everyone knows what a liberal is. I Everyone. didn't know what a liberal was until like yesterday. You the one who oh, told me what a liberal know. was, brother. What the fuck you mean, boomer? Bro. Hey, hey, happy, happy. Yo. What's a Republican? A Republican is somebody who has more conservative views upon political standings. 
There you go. Um, name, a fa- name a famous Republican. Um, Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh, okay, okay. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> I'm not against Trump, but I'm not. Um, but I'm also not for Trump. I can't really like say anything. Trump is a Trump, honestly. Trump, Trump. I'm not for his stupidity. That's my what's dumber that's or <laughs> what? Boom! What's roasted. dumber, Forrest Gump or an orange Trump? All right, so <laughs> where <laughs> I stand in politics, I don't care, bro. Yo, it's Halloween, guys. Fear. Yeah, you guys, guys Halloween. I don't know why the hell we bro, straight I'm about into I'm about I'm about to Joey Salad's like. God damn. It. <laughs> I'm over here just being me, but a vampire. You're like cockroaches. Centipedes. I'm over here like, I fear that one day some shit's gonna happen and I'm, I'm gonna be like marked for somebody to kill me. And if that, and I, if I'm able to kill that person, somebody else is coming in their place. What is this, JoJo? What? <laughs> okay, what is, I, what is I have a fear. <laughs> okay, I have a fear of uh, being marked. Uh, it's a terminology that means like, um, like some, like you're marked to be killed. Yeah. Oh, someone put a hit on And then on I have you? to be on the Who run for, like, me? the rest of my life. Who is? Why are you calling me? Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lazy. Wait, you, 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 you know how to eat the timestamp. Yeah, I already did it myself. What? No, I didn't answer the call. No, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's still a funny clip just for the, hi, Mom, <laughs> you know? <laughs> hi, Mom. So your biggest fear is to is to have a hit on you? To live the rest of my life running away from uh, people trying to kill me. Okay, people that's over a, here. Okay. Um, because marking is a serious thing. If you see someone, like, put like just put a finger gun out and just shoot you, that means that means that you're marked. Either he or someone is going to kill you. But like people over here on this island, they 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 use it like as a joke almost. To, even to their friends, when they see their friends in public, they're just like, boop. And Pow, then, and yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like, they do it, like, cringe. The it, thing goes, <laughs> and they only do it, they only do it to their friends. They would never try it with strangers, because if they end up marking the wrong person, they might just end up getting shot for no reason, you know? Hmm. But, like, that. Uh, you, finger guns. <laughs> fucking gunshot. Actually. Literally uh, dead. Yellow tape around his body. It's a fucking homicide. Why? 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 Anyone else want to share their fears? Their biggest fears? Um, we all already said you roaches. Guys. Yeah. I mean, you said you said no sentimental shit, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. And I wasn't gonna do that anyway. What about yeah, my phobias, my dudes? Yeah, yeah, the next topic is biggest. Sorry, I'm distracted because my grandma's literally right outside my door and she's making a ton of noise and it's going to get into audio. So, good. um, I don't know how you're going to deal with that, Lazy. I don't know. Just background noise remover, right? Like that thing in the thing? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, gamer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> when it, when it's it's called a noise remover, it doesn't re- it doesn't remove like actual like loud noises. It just removes fucking background static. It should be able. Oh, that's it. Okay. I mean, it can probably get rid of that, but like, gee. Well, I hope. Anyway, it was for it's me, for a man. few seconds. It's for a few seconds. <laughs> um, hey, yo, biggest phobia. phobia. Biggest phobia. I Mine don't think is. I have a phobia. I have, um, I don't actually, I used to have like kind of arachnophobia when I was younger, but that's because they had like big ass spiders. 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 Uh, Bro, why are you, why are you afraid of spiders? Just get fucking band of arthropods. (laughs) No, that's true. That's true. That's true. (laughs) But who the hell gets that shitty enchantment anyways? Oh, by the way, just realized, like I just learned this today. Band of arthropods also does extra damage on silverfish. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Yeah, I knew that already. Yeah, that okay, sucks. boomer. Okay, boomer. Yeah, Oh, basically. wow. What? Okay. <laughs> You're That's over really here. mean. Yeah, I knew that already. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. I'm getting roasted here. Yeah, exactly, man. How you feel, man? Be like that. <laughs> Danny, how you feel? 
I don't feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel great. <laughs> um, my, my biggest phobia right now is just centipedes, dude. Seriously. Um, give me a moment. Uh, just do the timestamp thing. I gotta be right oh, back. Okay, I'll just continue going with this. What other phobias are there? I mean... Like, there's a lot of phobias, like... Yeah, but what are the most popular ones? Uh, scared of dark, uh, but. scared of everything, scared of, um, uh, I don't, I have claustrophobia, like. Scared of, I uh, get, then why are you in a closet? <laughs> I'm not in a closet right now. Uh, my family oh, well, is actually being quiet for once, and it's oh, well, cool enough that I don't have any fans going, so. Well, why were, why were you in a closet then? Uh, because I had to keep my, win because I had to, like, have my fans going, and, like, that causes a lot of noise. So, oh, so. Yeah. guys, guys, Proto doesn't really get woke when I get woke here. Woke fears, woke fears, deep woke, woke fears. Oof, oof. Uh, <laughs> let's see. There's also a yep. heterophilia. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> not not phobia, uh, phobia. Phobia. Like, you know, homophobia. Yeah, no, it's heterophilia. Uh, no, that sounds like ah. pretty much, that sounds like pretty much everybody in the LGBTQ nah. community. I'm no, I'm kidding. Nah, nah, that's not how it'd be. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> like. I know a few people who like in like LGBTQ who are like for gay people but against bisexual people, which is really ironic. I found I found that, but I I like I found people being what? like I found people being more against just straight people than bi people. Like I've I've people. met a few people like that, and I'm just like, okay, boomer, I see you. <laughs> Like stop talking about the LGBTQ. That's okay. scary. That's okay, too yeah. scary. Too scary. Yeah, don't want to get too scary. Too scary. Right don't don't want to get don't want to get canceled. Don't want to get canceled. Yeah, don't want to get canceled. Too much. Um, We're not in China. Cancel phobia. Cancel phobia. <laughs> cancel phobia. We got a phobia of being uh, what it, what's the term? Demonetized. That's a phobia. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> I, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure YouTube has affected people that much where that would be a phobia. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that'd be a phobia. Like, um, phobia of, like, speaking your mind. That has to be, like, a phobia somewhere. Probably. I mean, I know, like, uh, if that's a phobia, I don't... Wait, that's a phobia? Why would that be a There's phobia? a phobia of, like, your teeth. Like, um, like, people are scared that, like, their teeth will fall out. Oh, so wow. they keep them extra clean. There's like, which ironically makes their blood, like their gums bleed. There's like a phobia. Uh, there's clean. literally a phobia where you're scared of a duck. That there's a duck always watching you, trying to kill you. A duck? Oh, I heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> I heard of that one. That's like, <laughs> what the fuck? How oh my gosh! Do, wait, no, wait, you wait. You guys remember? Okay, uh, you guys are probably too young to remember this, but there's a show called Garfield and Friends. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Show. Do you wait, remember the no, duck? Wait, oh, that wait, was wait, scared of mind. everything. Never mind, never mind. I confused Damn Garfield it. and Friends with the okay, Garfield wait, show. Yo, Proto, you boomer, right? Okay, I'm back. Uh... Okay, okay. You remember a TV show called Garfield and Friends? No. You're Dang old. Yeah, okay, y'all are too young. Okay, so anyway, I, I know I know what the show is, but I yeah, just never anyway, watched okay. it. Okay, there was a ironically there was a duck on there that was scared of everything, which is the ironic part because you were talking about like a duck that's trying to stab you or something. Yeah. Uh, so what are we on that. right now? I'm sorry, I came back at we're some still phobias. Oh, we they were they, they were, they were getting hella scary and started on the LGBTQ. So I kind of say yo, that. gay people, am I right? <laughs> I kind of I hate, hate people. Who are super scared. Yeah. The conversation. Boo. <laughs> All the ah. <laughs> Guys, boo. Ha, ah, bro! Why would you do that? <laughs> I was waiting for someone to like get the joke. <laughs> you fucking call me Carson. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, uh, super just over dramatic. Yeah. Yeah, my, my biggest phobia is centipedes, Lazy, and I guess mirror. both of you guys is, is uh, roaches. What about you, Happy? Uh, I don't I don't think I have a mirror. Um, I, can use, I can try to use I my phone, though. I have claustrophobia, and, um, like, there's a fear. Okay, you know the fear of heights thing? 
You have I'm claustrophobia and you go and you go in your closet I, I to am, record? I'm afraid of heights. I what? am not in my closet right now. I have no fans going, so there's no need. No, but you were like doing that for the like the the previous yeah, episode. Yeah, because my fans are going. Yeah, and you had claustrophobia. You have claustrophobia. My door to my closet was open the whole time. Okay, okay. Yeah. G- give me a second, Happy. I- I'm almost done. I, I to be to honest, I, I have a fear like, of everything with just it. a crazy amount of legs. I'm really confused on what this says, though. Like, like, I don't really like centipedes. I don't even like caterpillars. Mm. Even they, they, they're disgusting as well. I don't care ha- how oh, cute you people a, say they are. Oh, you have an insectophobia then, like something. Hold up, let me. What? Let me a centipede isn't an insect. Oh my god, but Happy. <laughs> Why would you send that in chat, Jesus? Deal with it. I ha- I did all that work and you just oh, jump scare me insects. like that. Ood. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, oh, oh whoa, Happy, whoa, bro. So entomophobia. What? Fear of insects. I'm. I don't have a fear of insects. Yes, you do. You just. No, I don't. You're a caterpillar. Caterpillar you mean centipede. A no, centipede isn't an insect. Why are you scared of caterpillars? They're not gonna do anything to you. They're gonna turn into butterflies. I know, well, but they look there, disgusting. Like, thing okay? of, like having a phobia of like long words, and it's like a. Su- okay, it's like a super long road. Did the phobia what's name the, is like a super what's long the word. Term for. Fuck. What's the what's what should I say? What's it? What's the? Sh- shut the fuck up. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, um, what's the term? For, what's uh, the phobia of long words? Thank you. What's the phobia of what? Of, God damn it! I can't speak. The daily phobia, according the to fearof.net, the fear of long words phobia or hippopotamus trisesquipedalia phobia is often considered a jocular or fictional fuck? phobia. However, that is not the case, and long words phobia is actually very real and does exist. Sorry, it's, my phone's it, British. It's such like it's such How a do you like that? take a piss out of people who actually have the fear <laughs> by making the fear a long word. <laughs> it's kind of like so lisp. good. Like it doesn't work out that well for people. Who have yeah, lisp. yeah, yeah. The word lisp has a s in it. Blue bar. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. There you go. Our biggest phobias. This is this is going really well. I love the structure of this podcast. Oh. Um, next topic is, what do you believe fuck, in ghosts? Dude? How do you even pronounce that? I actually have a story about this. So, um, when I was, okay, so the middle school I went to actually was haunted, and there's proof. Wait, 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 happy before you start. Let's get a okay. vote, okay? Ska- Steph, do you believe in the ghosts? What? Wait, what? You believe in ghosts? Of course. Oh, ghosts. Okay, lazy, do you believe in ghosts? No. Happy do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Okay, we have one person who actually doesn't believe in ghosts here. Everyone else does Missy believe in people. ghosts. All right, continue. I just, want, I just wanted okay, to get her fine. standing on the whole thing. Okay, anyway, oh, so you just so, wanted to sing me out, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, so the, high, so the middle school I went to, actually, like, every time that you walked in there, everyone was always pissed off, angry, and whatever. Like, not because it was middle school or school in general, but just they just suddenly had this, like, weight on the shoulders that they were pissed off. And here's why. When school was being built, there was an electrician that came in, and he found out that his wife cheated on him with one of his best buddies. And he went in the, to school pissed while trying to, like, do electrical shit. Well, he got electrocuted up there. Like, doing his job, and, like, he was too pissed off not focusing on what he's supposed to do. They got electrocuted and died. Because of this, after the school was built and everything, everything was done, literally because of his ghost, he will lock people up in the electrical place where he was killed. Like, where he died. And that's why children are not allowed up in the electrical area. And if there are, if anybody needs to go up there, there has to be two people. Like, one person downstairs and one person upstairs. Because the door will shut on you. It's physically impossible for it to shut on its own. But it will just suddenly shut on you. So people have to be there to make sure that you don't get locked in there. Because there was a time where somebody got locked in there for hours on end and it was hot as balls. Okay. Here's the thing, Yikes. though. That's not even the scariest part. His ghost roams around the neighborhood. And I lived, like, two blocks away from the school. 
like we would see a guy walking around the neighborhood every now and again wearing like you know like okay he's wearing electrical clothing but there's he's not wearing like you know safety stuff how we do now it was like 50s style so every now and again we'll just see like that guy walking around the neighborhood like he's a normal person but the adults won't see anything Eventually, like, I wasn't able to see him, but every now and again, I get, like, a glimpse of him from the corner of my eye. You're a boomer. You're a boomer. That's why. It's freaking, like, terrifying, because it's like, is he planning on something? And the creepiest thing is that, like, he would be sitting in a lawn chair sometimes, looking, staring at people's houses. Like, people have seen this around the neighborhood, and it was freaking terrifying for them. Because it's like, there's a guy sitting right there just staring, and it's like, the, and the Ooh. house that it was at, the guy was always on vacation, so no one was at that house. And he just changed lawns, like, every few nights. I'm gonna fix your plug socket. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, no, they say that, like, uh, him and his wife lived in that neighborhood, and he's still trying to figure out which friend, like, fucked his wife, so he could kill her. Sorry, not kill her. Wow, okay. Him. That was, uh... Yeah. In Fortnite, right? In Fortnite, we don't want to get... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn your lights off and on again. It's bad for your electricity bill. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna make your sockets. I'll put more volts so your charger gets fucked and now you have to buy a new phone. Ooh. <laughs> I'll change your bulb. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, that sounds like an absolutely terrifying experience. I don't mean to undermine it. <laughs> it's just the perfect situation. I don't have. I don't really have much. I don't really have any ghost stories. Come um, on, you were with me when I experienced mine, but you didn't see it. Yeah, I can't really fully remember it though. Like I think I was like I saw like something near oh, no, your washing another. machine. There's another one, and uh, you were there for two. You didn't see anything, but you saw my reaction. You were like, what the fuck? So basically, we were heading to the kitchen. And I turned into the, the, the doorway that leads into the kitchen. And the light is right there. And I was about to turn it on. And I swear to God, I saw something right by the fridge. Right across the room. Some humanoid figure in the darkness. And then it looked Yikes. at me. And I was like, okay. This shit literally start running to me. It got so close to my fucking face that I switched on the light. I didn't see shit. All I know, it was a humanoid figure. That shit ran straight to my face. And then I turned on the Oh light my light. god. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I think I, remember, I think it was like the time where I saw something was we were in front. And then I looked. You didn't see, you didn't see what I saw, but you saw my reaction. I looked over th- across the room to your washing machine and I just saw this something like right near your washing machine. Um, or like something move or some shit. And I was just freaked out. I literally like I turned to you and then I turned back toward the washing machine and it was gone. And I was like, dude, dude. And I freaked out. You know how it is. You know how it is. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Any ghost moments for you guys? Or do you, or why do you believe in ghosts and shit like that, you know? Uh, I, I think I think ghosts exist. I think ghosts exist. There's t- too much reports. You know? For me, I like, just grew up with a house that believed in spirits and stuff like that. And yeah, then, fair enough. Well, I saw, I experienced it for myself. Mhm. Um. Okay. What about what about you, lazy? Why don't you believe in ghosts, actually? Wait, is he here? Wow. Lazy. I think he's gone. I I just got back. I had. Yeah. To okay. The yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The so question is. Why don't is, you believe in ghosts? Cause I never got, I never had a spoopy moment. A paranormal. Don't yeah, you believe in the? It, don't you believe in the Holy Ghost? Ew. God. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, so because you never experienced it, Holy Spirit, I believe in fucking um the heart, the sun, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I went to Catholic Bro, school. What the hell? A priest, heck? <laughs> a priest <laughs> farted in a that's church a and he blamed it on the Holy oh, Ghost. It's Father, Son, and that's Holy an Spirit. actual story. Fuck. Amen. What did I say? Heart, uh, forehead, fuck. heart, <laughs> shoulder, <laughs> shoulder, hands. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone missed my joke. All right, it's fine. Um, it's okay. Audience, well, that was a, that was a quick topic. Um, hey, this is another quick topic. What's your favorite candy? That's not a quick topic. There's a lot of candies to choose from. What genre of candy candy do you like? Do you like the sweets? What genre of candy? Do you do you like the sweets, the chocolates, or the um? What's or the, the wait, what's that? All the time. Toffees. Just wait, what kind of chocolate? Chocolate. There's different brands. They hurt kind of chocolate. I really like Reese's, even though I'm allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I'm not definitely allergic, so it's fine. My mom's allergic to peanut butter too, so you know. And apparently I made her allergic. Like after she had me. Like before she could, before she got me, she was fine. Like she had no allergies toward it. And then after she had me, she she started getting allergic to peanuts and allergic to shrimp or just seafood in general. Every seven wow. years, your allergies you change, so it doesn't really matter. You're Guys, I ruined my mom's life. It's you essentially did. what I'm but trying to say. But then you made it better because you got older, and now you have arms, and now you're a boomer. That's all good. That makes uh, yeah 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 of course anything okay, to make wait. myself feel better. So favorite candy period or just like favorite favorite Halloween candy because there is a difference. What the fuck? I'm not that white. Just candy. <laughs> Candy's candy. I'm not that white. white. Um. Chocolate dick number one spot for me. Yes. Yeah, but what? Yo, what type of chocolate? Yo, chocolate Freshies. truffles. I heard chocolate dick number one for me. That's that. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> through discord i mean chocolate. discord trying to expose if, if you, you bro you gave me a bar of chocolate and it was just shaved if you gave me a dick like a dick, dick, like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, it's chocolate you know what mad respect <laughs> yo mad Steph, respect. i'm gonna have I mean, you try chocolate truffles you're gonna yeet every single fucking hershey bar you ever had in your chocolate like, in truffles your life are really out good. of the window bro i savor every Yo, I like. I'm a chocolate though? guy too. I, I agree Best with you. Thing. I'm a chocolate guy. Yeah, we know you're a chocolate guy, Proto. You're black. Shut up. <laughs> I knew you're gonna. I knew you're gonna make that joke. I knew you were gonna make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. You bastard child. But what kind now, tell of me your favorite though? candy? There's different like candy bars and stuff. There's like. Okay, there's a brand good. called. Just a brand anything with of chocolate. Chocolate on it. called Always. Like the Yo, like the like laughing, the though. period pad. Period pad. I'm sorry. What? what? what the fuck? <laughs> there's a there's a brand of chocolate called Always, and I really liked it when I was younger. And I would bite literally every day after school, and it was it was a problem. It was a genuine problem because it was really cheap, but it also tasted really good. What is but that like, egg with like, like the nougat in the middle? Wait, but like, where did period pad come from? Yeah. There's a there's a <laughs> there's a brand of period pad called Always. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what do you mean? They don't make. I oh. hope they don't make chocolate. That's like a jump. That's a violent combination of products. You know, but yeah. Why did it? There's, there's a, why were they brought up? Why were period pad? Don't worry about it. It's kind of funny. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay. Aside from non-chocolate uh, candy, what's you guys' favorite candy? The fuck. Taffies. No. Taffies are like the second favorite. Aside from chocolate, what's you guys' favorite non-chocolate candy? Caramel toffees are my favorite, apart from chocolate. Wow, you are a boomer. Yeah, you are. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What's Yo. your favorite candy? Yo. Shut no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to beat them. I'm going to beat them. You guys know those hard candies, the butterscotch ones? Oh, God. Brothers? You're actually <laughs> an old woman. Oh, my God. Oh, listen, bro. no, listen. My brother oh, had that stuff in his in his bed. He had like a huge bag of it, just in his like in his closet. And he, like every time my sister and I would come down to visit him, 
He'd be like, yo, y'all want a piece of candy? It's like, yeah. I guess my favorite candy, because I don't really buy candy other than chocolate. But if th this candy, I would buy every time I see it, because we don't see it on this ad. It's like a sour ball. Oh, that shit, yeah. Like, that, that's a kid's candy, no, bro. Like a like Chewing a sour gum jawbreaker. that is just super fucking sour. Sour shit, oh, it's and so And then good. it gets sweet after. I used to buy... I used yeah. to Sour Patch Kids. I sour used to buy No, 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 no. They're way more sour one. than Sour Patch Kids commercial And then kids. I upped it to two, then three, then four. I used to be able to take four at a time. And Proto over here can even handle one. He used to lick it. He used to lick it. What else okay, you're looking, huh? Fucking weird ass flex. Okay, <laughs> bro. Take every opportunity kid, in your life to kid, flex. Everything was a flex. Oh, you guys right? were kids. Never mind. I don't want to know what you guys were looking. <laughs> As a kid, everything was a flex. <laughs> if I could run faster than you, flex. If flex. I talked to that girl, better you are, than you did. You are very flex. right. <laughs> <laughs> if I got more you money, didn't, you know, candy. Just a I can run flex. I can run faster than you. <laughs> Take that. Take that. Yeah, guys. You know that one candy that your grandma always has that she just summons from the inner depths of the underworld, the strawberry wrapping one? Butterscotch? That's always oh. there. Yes! That, like, yeah. that, oh my that god! That you swear oh, that they no. stop making them, and like Memories. for some reason she always have the, she always has them, like always. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! Where do where do they manifest from, dude? Where? Is okay, there some secret, like, there's black a market? Like, there's, like, old people stores that they go to. Like, you know the ones where, like... You mean where looks, you like, go like, to? Like, there's doilies and stuff and like, all that, like, femme shit. It's in those kinds of stores. How would you know, Happy? Because I had to go I had to go shopping with my grandmother a few times, and she, like, they were there. And I'm like, this is where they have them. And the cashier's like, shh. And I'm like, damn it! <laughs> this so is now you're just made. exposing it. I'm exposing it because that store went out of business. I, years I don't ago. blame them. That shit's old. That product's old as shit. Like, like the All funny right. thing is that my grandmother was like, "Yes, I made this," and I'm like, "No, you didn't." And she's like, "Yes, I did." I'm like, "Where'd you get the plastic wrap?" I wrap. made the plastic. <laughs> I made wrap. it, Happy. I made it. I swear. No, no, my I, grandmother and I, my grandma and I had beef when I was a kid. Like, ever since I was little, I've been having I had beef with your well. grandma, guys. I've handcrafted the plastic myself. Yeah, she's you get the little twist ties? I made those. How? <laughs> I That's invented them. Oh. We didn't have these machines to make all these things. <laughs> we had to do We just had a brown plastic bag that. that we brought down to the store and they packaged it that way. Now you guys are hurting the trees by doing this shit. Yeah, okay, boom. Paper is made from trees, <laughs> Happy. How do you And then they just, it? like, go, no. Yo, no. wait, hold on. On paper? No, and explode. Yeah. Yo. No wonder. Yo, no wonder I cut so easily. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, next topic. So. Wow. Just going to skim over that joke, all right? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I, 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 I literally. I feel your okay. pain, Happy. <laughs> What I'm trying to like cram these in so that we actually like okay. have yo some have scary to... shit that happened to you in real life. I literally did that for the first topic. Some <laughs> some scary shit that happened to you in real life. Number fifteen. Something scary that happened to you in <laughs> real life. <laughs> okay, plan. You, you're way too good at that. That's actually. I was a, going like, for chills. <laughs> Planet Dolan. So, yeah. Planet Dolan. <laughs> Planet Dolan. <laughs> Today's artist, Prototype 101. Famous artist, Prototype. Actually, you're wrong. It's a Prototype 456. Wait, was it 456? Yeah, okay. You don't even roast me if you can't. I can't even roast me properly. All right. Okay, shut up. Now, okay, now, I'm, ser now I'm searching for the right answer. How we, okay, Anywho, yeah, have uh, some scary shit. Well, Steph already shared his, like, ghost story. So, Steph, you got anything else? Um, I mean, it's just a casual ghost thing that you see in every fake or real ghost paranormal video. Where you hear something move, or you hear something drop. Sometimes it would be the dog on the table, but the dog would be in my room lying down, and you just hear something just like, mm. All right, Boomer. 
Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Imagine the way to like exercise oh, by the, the way, ghost Proto, is to just say, Proto, okay, boomer. Proto, let dead. me roast you. All right, all Today's right. artist is prototype 7646. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That, that's literally all I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I have a really, I have a really like good one. I have a really good scary story here. So, this is a sleep paralysis story. Um, I want to preface this by saying that this is probably what solidified my belief in ghosts, first of all. And second of all, this is my only time I've ever had sleep paralysis in my entire life. All right. So, sleep paralysis obviously occurs when you put your body through a crap ton of stress. And then you try to sleep, right? So that day, it was like midday, and I had a ton of chores to do. And they were all just tedious as shit chores, right? And I think I didn't get any sleep the night before, actually. Yeah, I didn't get any sleep the night before. I, I think I'm pretty sure I pulled like an all-nighter. Or I got like one or two hours of sleep because like I hated myself back then. And I did all the really just the tiring chores. So after I, so no sleep combined with just doing a shit ton of chores, I finally like flopped down on my bed to go to sleep because I just wanted to catch some quick, quick shut eye. Some Z's? Trying to catch yeah. some Z's? Some zizzes. And <laughs> fucking, I swear, dude, I, I flopped down on my bed um like like uh sideways instead of normally like you go vertically on your bed so your whole body fits in your bed i just like i did not give a shit like i just went sideways um and i'm glad i did that because when i woke up after like a few i don't know how long it was maybe it was a few hours maybe maybe it was a few minutes of sleeping i woke up i was a bit diagonal um, on my bed, I woke up with my face facing the wall, right? So thank God, because I honestly, I would have probably run mentally insane because this experience was scary enough. So I, my eyes just sprung open, right? And I could not move my body at all. Every time I kept hearing this faint static noise in my ears, just this you know, this weird, faint, static noise. As my face faces the wall, um, I can't move anything. And when I try to move, it feels like I'm being punished for moving by getting, like, electrocuted. Like, every time I tried to move, I felt like this electric sensation coursed through my body. Like, something's punishing me for trying to move. Is it like that feeling of like when your leg like falls asleep and you try to move it? Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, um, it's not like pins and needles. I guess it's kind of like pins and needles, but it's, it doesn't really feel specifically like pins and needles. Because pins and needles feels like pins and needles. This felt like literal current, like lightning, like electricity, you know? But I mean, yeah, I, w- felt... I wouldn't know. I never got fucking shocked. You never got, like, zapped by, like, anything before? I mean, I got, never static. Been I got, I got, I got static shock, but I never got fucking electrocuted. You never no, got that'll... electrocuted? Boy, let me tell you. <laughs> but, yeah. Trust me, it's very fun. You should try it I've been tased. <laughs> it's not fun. You get energy. You, you free got energy. tased? Like, you know those trick gums where, like... Oh. Like, if you grab it? Okay, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. everyone oh. in school tried to do that to me. It wasn't going to work. So my friend did the Sharpie thing with the cell phone light. Oh, Right that on top thing. of my veins. Bro, like, that thing. Like, you're I supposed to do it, like, on the side thing. of your arm and then do it, and then it hurts, like, oh, ow. No, my friend did it on top of my veins, and then I started, like, I dropped and had a fucking seizure, and my teacher walks over, like, I'm not fucking awake enough for this. And everyone's like, she's having a seizure. He's like... I don't know okay. what to do. What the fuck? <laughs> She's having a seizure. Okay. She still has to get up and listen okay, to Okay, bro. Class. She didn't put it in her <laughs> She's <homework>. not. <laughs> She's not going to avoid my class by having a seizure. This, you just brought something up from the bottom of my memories, bro. 
I got tricked. Anyways, I'm not done, by the way. Oh, we'll continue. Yeah, um... I, yeah. So I was, like, lying down there, facing the wall. And, like, you know, every time I moved, it just felt like I was being punished and shit like that. And... I, I could, like... I don't know. I kept just hearing disjointed shit, like, in my ears. But it was mainly just, like, this staticky sound like this constant static and i shit you not i literally just i i just closed my eyes and i just the only thing i could could do was just pray and i prayed dude i actually prayed dude and i just who would you pray to allah god ja ja i prayed to ja and you know it worked um i prayed I to really... john it worked <laughs> look, at ja. I prayed. look at john's work <laughs> Jaws plan. <laughs> Jaws I, plan. I prayed. I prayed, and after a few seconds, it just the feeling was completely gone, and I had feeling, and I quickly turned my head over, like away from the wall, to see like the rest of my room. Nothing was there. I just and you're sat not up. Religious after all of this. <laughs> and I fucking huh. You're not religious after all of this? I was always religious. You literally prayed that- You literally prayed for something to go away and it went away. Dude, what do you mean? I'm- I'm always religious. You're religious. I'm just not like- I I'm not like I... faggot about it. Like, oh god, <laughs> wow. you should like- Wow! He's not gonna- He's not gonna try wow. and shove it down your throat that, <laughs> that's hey... A, that's yeah. a very god, Christian right? thing. That's a very Christian thing of you to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm religious, but I'm not a faggot about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not right, vegan so about it. Christian. How about that? But yeah, what, like, are you like Christian? Are you Catholic? Are I'm you a Christian. Satanist? I'm Jaiist. Yeah, you can tell. He, he said the word faggot and didn't flinch. Oh yeah, you yeah. are a Christian. <laughs> yeah, I praise Ja. But uh, yeah, and I literally I looked it up about sleep paralysis, and the reason why I I keep repeating myself by saying thank God I was facing the wall, or else I would go mentally insane, is because. People experience, after I read up about it, people experience vivid hallucinations yeah. when under sleep paralysis. And it is oh, yeah. genuinely terrifying. I don't think I can handle that. I genu- As a human being right now, I don't think I can actually handle a sleep paralysis um, hallucination. Guys, wow. get sleep. Please, trust me. You, you wow. won't regret it. Dude. What a bitch, am I right, guys? Niggas, what, <laughs> <a man. laughs> what you mean, nigga? <laughs> you know what it is to have Christmas time come around the corner and you still want to have them gaming hours in on a night? Exactly! <laughs> this, this man gets it. on a morning, gaming all night, nigga. <laughs> Imagine saying this and like you like call us like <laughs> on Christmas Day, just like people actually guys. listen to <laughs> like it's like guys. Uh, I just I just um woke up from sleep paralysis. <laughs> people listen and... <laughs> to us and actually catch sleep paralysis. Fucking okay. <laughs> guys, I I saw Santa. I saw he, was Santa. He, was, he was fucking my mom, bro. He was <laughs> at this time. Why did I know you were going to say why? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And after, like, funny thing enough, after the sleep paralysis experience, Didus, if you guys know the YouTuber, he uploaded a sleep paralysis video. So that was extra the creepy. The name sounds familiar. Didus, he's an him. animation YouTuber. He's really, really, uh, is he really the squid good. guy? Yeah, Squid Up, Squid Neutral. Oh, okay. Yep, I know him. Yeah. Oh. Bro, I was like, oh my god. And his story sounded way worse because he actually saw his sleep paralysis demon. I didn't see mine. Mine was probably on top of me, shocking me, you know? But people say, like, the com- the most common um, sleep paralysis demon is the shadow people. Um, people reference. Also, there's the old hag. Um, that's another one. Someone said an extremely terrifying one where it's just, like, a baby... Like the face of a baby floating, like at the foot of their bed, and just like the baby's eyes are just gone. And oh, oh my god, dude, it's it's crazy. Speaking of, speaking of speaking of scary babies, you know that movie Bird Box? Oh god, lazy. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, you scared me because you're literally baby. Continue. What were you saying? So yeah, you know that <laughs> you know that movie. You know that movie Bird Box. 
You don't know it, Proto. You don't have Netflix. I, f I know. Netflix? I watched it. Shut I up. You watched it? I had Netflix. How'd you watch yes. it? Bro, I'm pirate. Uh, did, you, did you watch Breadbox? I uh, don't know. Breadbox. Uh, well, uh, well, this doesn't really have any spoilers. Just like the monster for Birdbox was originally. Oh, Bird Box. Like... Yeah, I watched it. Wait, yeah, Birdbox. It was originally going to look like some baby. But like they never actually showed the monster, but it was supposed to look like um some baby looking I mean, creature. I thought... Also, Happy, I'm sorry, I never asked you. Did you watch Red Box? No, I don't have Netflix. Well, I thought there was a theory. <laughs> I mean, it. It, it's just a theory, so I guess it could okay. be. Okay! No, I'm pretty sure Oh my sure god, the fact we like, But like, yeah, the theory <laughs> where the people that don't get affected by the light actually see the people in that one person that was doing all the drawings he was drawing the people that he saw and the things that he saw and shit like that that uh, uh, okay dude co okay yeah dude, yeah that, that's that. literally what it was movie. i mean yeah but like i'm pretty sure like they were supposed to have a scene where they like legitimately showed what it looked like specifically to the main character i guess yeah 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 and, which would make sense why it would be like a baby that's baby you know boy and girl yeah, literally naming their kids boy and girl baby yeah <laughs> anyways that, 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 that's my scary that's the scariest thing that's probably ever happened to me in real life like a genuinely like at least close to paranormal thing i'm so glad i was facing that wall holy mother of god what about you guys uh, uh, I I did all my scary stories on the first one, so. <laughs> you blew your load, dude. Yeah, I came too early. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I pretty premature anecdotalation. Yeah. yeah. Because sorry, so sorry, scary. guys. Me, me and Steph kind of just prematurely came. Yeah. Yeah, guys. We didn't mean to. I could. We just we just kind of we just preed all over the first ten minutes. I could go again, <laughs> but it would just be the same story over and over. You know? Ah, <laughs> ah. A lot of you, you have stamina. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Just a quickie. It's gonna be exactly the same though. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, what about you, Happy? I'm trying to think. I'm scared it's happened to me. Like, Ooh. I've been stalked before, nearly killed. Like, there's a lot of shit. But Let's see, um. Oh, there's something that's really scary that I kept on- It happens every single fucking time I go to the store. So, literally every time I go to the store with one of my nieces or nephews, they almost get hit by a car. And oh, same every thing time, happens to me. No, no, no. It's always the split second before where I pick them up and grab them and get them out of the way of the car. I Somehow. almost got hit by a bus. Either you oh, should not be with them <laughs> on the road, or you should be with them on the road at all times. I, I can't really pinpoint which one should happen. No, it's always like those heart attack moments where it's like, you could have died. We could have a funeral. There is like shit that I had to, like, mindset. There could have been food been there. <laughs> not to do. No, 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 no. Um, scary shit that's happened to me. Um, somebody tried to break into my house once. I'm talking like spooky, and not like ha ha ha. This is real life. Oh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Um, like, like spooky. Uh, I once got possessed. Share it with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not the so, possession, not the thing that possessed you. Just the actual story, please. Okay, so I was um I was very sleep deprived. I was very tired. And I hadn't gotten any sleep for the past few days because I had to watch kids and I also had to go to work and everything. Not like, oh, see a home and draw pictures. No, I had to like physically go to work. Uh, I worked at like an arts and crafts store and I had to stock items. Anywho, I was so tired that like, I just like, like I could try to go to sleep, but my siblings were arguing. And I was just like, you know, trying to sleep, trying to sleep. Next thing I know, I'm upstairs and my sister's holding me back away from, like, my other sister, who's like, I'm leaving! And then, like, she slams and, like, leaves the house, and I'm like, what the fuck happened? And my sister's like, are you fucking kidding me? Did you, like, did you, like, go, did you, like, black out and go into, like, a fit of rage? I, I apparently blacked out. You turned green. 
busted open my sister's door, busted pinned her onto the onto the bed, like to and like covered her mouth and like stone cold like apparently looked at her or some shit and then my sister was like trying to get like a cross and splash me with holy water oh so you can think straight when you were like you're not you're you're not you when you're dehydrated (laughs) you're not you when you're sleep deprived no i just i had no control over my body it was how about nyquil freaking weird yeah and then my mom you want to know what she did the following day she went around uh, the house burning sage, <laughs> and oh. then like putting salt around the entire the entirety of our property. So that was fun. Guys, get yeah. sleep. I hope you can sleep tonight after this uh, this Halloween. I hope you can sleep really this Halloween scary. night. Oh, yeah. Um, I have potential scary moment. Okay. Um, uh, there was a while back I used to actually sleepwalk. I don't know if I do it now because I locked my door. I don't think i would be actually i nearly slams into the door but anyway um so basically what happened is that i sleep walked into the living room my mom was watching tv and shit and like i was prepared to go outside and my mom was like step i was like yeah she was like what are you doing i was like i don't know she was like some shit don't you want to watch tv i was like okay and my eyes were shut, but I'm watching TV. My head, she told me this specifically. My head tilted up to watch the TV and everything because it was on the stand. But my head tilted up and everything, but my eyes fully shut. And I sat there for a while, went back inside. She told me she was planning to go to sleep. So Didn't you say this on a podcast? This sounds really familiar. I, I mean, he told me this already, but I didn't know if you guys heard it before. But like, Like, specifically, I remember, like... You sitting on the couch and like just specifically you tilted your head up to watch the TV and your eyes were still closed. You remember? Uh, maybe I did. You know, maybe I said some potential for the moment before. But she said she was planning to go to sleep early, and she didn't. She didn't know what I could have possibly done if she had, because I was like, I was going to open the door and everything. Like, I was like walking like if I was awake. It was like <laughs> I okay. was professional at this shit. All right. Well, if that's all our uh, scary bromance, next topic. Um, something scary that um, that's like a piece of media. It could be a movie, a book. <laughs> what a pussy. Any right? piece of media. Like a YouTube video, a comic, a picture, the any maze game, any the maze game, any piece of media that messed you up for like a good few days. I never got like uh, messed up by something for like a uh, good few barefoot days. Barefoot documentary when I was a little boy, my mom and dad was watching it. Literally, for, you told me this, I but think, please, like, please tell the podcast. I think for like after I watched that. It was like a Bigfoot documentary, skinned rabbits and stuff, dark Bigfoot looking type creatures in the background running off in the distance and shit. That shit really got me because where we live, the street lights are very far apart. So there's very huge gaps of deep, just dark corners and low alleyways and stuff. So every time I got sent to the shop for like, I don't know, a week, two weeks, I don't even know. But for a long time, I would just sprint. Nigga, I would straight up run to the shop and run back. I would not trust any corner. I felt that <laughs> his foot was just there and he was ready to pounce on my ass, bro. I did not give a Specifically shit. Specifically you. Decking it. Bro, that got me. That had me. Bigfoot had me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone else? What about you, Happy? Okay. So you know how um okay so you know how like uh, when you're introduced to like what monsters are as a kid, like usually it's like your older sibling telling you or like uh, you find out on like media or whatever. Um, I found out what they were. I kind of put two and two together when I found, when I watched like um what was it? I watched Monsters Inc for the first time, and my sister explained to me, yeah, monsters live in your closet, and I'm like, what? 
Oh, that's a dick move. Oh. That is a dick move. No, I hear, I hear very confused. I'm like, monsters live in my closet? And she's like, yeah, they do. And I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, wait. Like, no, and here's the thing, though. We had a bunk bed. So, and I had the top bunk. So, if the monsters came in to try and steal us, my sister was the closest one. So... Yes, sucker. Like I was, I was, I was over here. Like, ha! Huh, she'd be taken first, but then I realized monsters might be tall, <laughs> or like, no, I was like, first bro, second, what if you like, get a Mike Wazowski tall. monster? <laughs> no, but like, uh, here's the thing, though. I like, I wasn't scared for like myself. I was scared for my sister. So like a few times, I just I had like a bunch of like tiny stuffed animals that I had the right to fucking yeet at my closet if they tried to come in. <laughs> Ah, yes, stuffed animals, their greatest weakness. <laughs> yeah, but then my brother pointed out, he's like, monsters only come through closets that have doors, Yours has a curtain, and I'm like, oh, oh shit, that's you worse. right? Oh, that oh. would suck. Oh, I would Nigga, not like a closet Nigga, we gonna be all right. <laughs> we gonna be Ooh. all right. Ooh. No, because no, no, it has to be a solid door that closes. Yeah, in order yeah for but I just personally, like, I don't believe in monsters in a closet, but a closet with a curtain is the most... Oh my god, that would that sucks in my opinion. That sucks. Sucks in what way? It's a closet with a curtain. <laughs> so sucks not even like a solid like door, you know? It's a just a curtain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. What about you, um, lazy? If he, I said, I said earlier. He spoke. Like something you watched. Oh, oh, the TikTok thing. Oh. <laughs> well, that oh. one that only messed me up for that one specific day. Okay. I never like really got like really fucked up by like a video. I'm about to one up all you guys again. You know the pro, the pro. The I could pro. hear his bones. See ya, see ya, guys. While thanks. To flex his bones. Okay, and... okay, guys. Thanks for watching the Not Bad Podcast. <laughs> okay. If you like Comment it, down below. punch that like button in the. F I already did that joke already. Like a boss. <laughs> Hit the and like button. why are you guys? Why don't you guys want me to one up you? <laughs> okay, okay. What you got? What you got? Um, one time I, and Steph knows about this. It's going to rejog his memory, though. This junk messed me up for about half a month. So, <laughs> I was like, how old was I? I was like fucking like 15 or some shit when I, and it's still like, it still kind of creeps me out to this day just thinking back to it. Even talking about it right now is just kind of, you know, um... I read this Japanese um, gore comic called, and it's a really good one. It's called uh, My Chance Daily Life, right? Listen, if you are good with gore and like scary shit, read it by all means. But I highly recommend you. This shit is really good. Like gore fans themselves, that shit messes them up. Like, that, that's what people say. Because, obviously, after I watch it and experience it, I had to look it up and shit. YouTube videos and shit. You know how it is. It's oh, I, the, just, I just searched it up. Wow. It's, uh, it is, it is fucked to the maximum, dude. It's a story about a girl who has regenerative abilities, but she's a maid, right? And she works for these people who use her as, like, like a, like a, like a hooker, basically. But the clients can do anything they want to her, so they do some fuck shit. Like, one guy literally put a flame thrower, her, floor, thrower to her face and just scorched her face off while fucking fucking her, basically, right? <laughs> it, it's messed up, dude. One time, they there was, like, this... One time, the like these, there was this girl who would like mess with her. The character, the main character's name is Mai Chan, obviously. And they had like a pet that they had in the 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 house that she was in, and she told Mai Chan that the pet only likes human flesh. And she, basically, Mai Chan was forced to put her hand in a grinder and grind her fucking hand off to feed. It's so messed up. It is. Oh, thinking back at it. 
And the imagery, the imagery is what really gets you, right? So basically, I read a good, I read not a good bit. I did, I couldn't get through it too much, honestly. Um, but I read like, I read a couple pages. And I stopped and I was like, okay, that's, that should be the end of that. But no, no, that, that shit, that shit was in my mind for weeks, dude. I could not get proper sleep. I couldn't sleep. Here's how bad it was, right? Because, you know, okay, first of all, here's why, here's why I couldn't get proper sleep. You know that one feeling of something always watching you, always being behind you whenever you have your back turned and shit like that? Like, like that constant feeling like, oh, if you have shampoo in your hair and you're washing it off, there's something there, you know? Yep. Or like in, if you're in the shower or something. Yeah, shit like that. The, that feeling like, oh, something's behind the shower. You pull the Girl, shower curtain and it. it's going to be there. <laughs> I just imagine like her, like the imagery, like that shit being just watching me and, you know, all that shit, like in the darkness. It really, really messed me up um, to the point where... I kept my, I only had a tablet at that point, so I kept my, I would keep my tablet light on, and I still wouldn't get proper sleep, dude. I would have to be, I would have to, when I would get sleep is when I would be so tired to the point where I had no choice, but my brain would just shut down, like for my brain to just shut down and go to sleep. Like, you know that feeling when you're like so tired? Yeah. Yes. That would have had to happen to me. I couldn't just like actively go close my eyes and go to sleep. I would not dare do that. And that shit had me fucked up for like two, three weeks, dude. It was a miserable experience. But one day, one day when I'm living with someone, like I'm talking like sleeping with someone in the same bed, then is when I'm going to read that goddamn comic. One day I'm going to go back to that and read the whole thing. I'm not going to get bested by a goddamn comic. No. Okay. You fucking, you fucking use your tablet as a fucking night light. Night light, yeah. It w- yeah. Oh my god, dude. That shit messed me up. That, oh. No. That's not, that's not okay. She literally, like, one of the panels is her committing, like, seppuku. Naked in front of, in, like, public. The guts and everything, like. Just guts and all, just there. Oh my god. It is messed, dude. And apparently there's like a live action thing to that. And at that point I was like, nah. Nah, I ain't about that. Nah, fuck that shit. Oh my god. It is kind of, it's just, it, it's kind of, you know, feels, feels strange now reminiscing about that shit again. And yeah, yeah, that's that's basically um something that really messed me up. I never thought that something like that would mess me up ever. I was like, huh, I've been on the internet, I've seen it all. Now I can say I've been on the internet and I've seen it all because I could watch, like, I can go on a gore website and watch people get beheaded, like slice in half, really messed up shit happen to them, no, and I you, wouldn't you, even you, care. You choose to watch it, but you can't go through it. You go through it with pure pain. You choose to Yeah, yeah, it. it's cringe, dude, obviously, but I'm not gonna get messed up for life. And you then know? you look at me like, how can you watch this? Yeah, because you're just honestly, sitting there. Brother, moral of the story, you're just a little bitch, bro. <laughs> just a little bitch. Can't <laughs> always want sleep. Can't take your no little fucking comic. Look at this fucking <laughs> Look at this boomer. <laughs> Fucking, you got scared by a TikTok. Shut your fucking mouth. Get out of here. No, right? I got unsettled by a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but yeah, um, different. yeah, I'm a little bitch. You know, that's fine. Also, it was like, it was like a thing where like, I just thought back at it. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, got, it's got literally, it, it, ju- it just made my day worse. I think I saw that TikTok, by the way. Now thinking about it. Link it. Link to TikTok. I don't have no. it. It's just it just pops up in the endless void of the for you page. I'm just gonna type in you may not sleep now there are monsters nearby. T- no, that's actually gonna give me a bunch of shite. Minecraft I'll, I'll TikTok. Try to look for me. 
you can't sleep there. Yeah, but it's going to give me a bunch of shit, you know, to sift through, and that's kind of cringe. So no. Actually, ironically, I had an interesting event happen. Uh, one time I had a nightmare. I think I talked about it on the podcast. But literally, the only reason why I woke up is because I realized I couldn't kill Pennywise with a creative mode diamond sword with all the yeah. diamonds on it. Because I was in creative mode, so there's no way you can kill me. And then I woke up. <laughs> Kill Pennywise with a creative mode diamond sword. Okay, you one up me. You one up me. With all the enchants on it. With all the almost all the all the enchants on it. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Bane of arthropods. What if it didn't have Bane of arthropods Even and that's smite? the one thing you needed to kill him? Well, in a dream, you can't read. That's the thing. You can't read it well, when you're in you a dream. Can't you can't read if you dream. don't. If they don't want you to read. If there's something that no, correlates no, 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 with no, no, no. the dream, you'll be able to read it. Obviously. No, no, no. That's the thing. They can tell you what it says. It's just that you can't you, yourself. You cannot read in a dream. It's physically impossible. Well, no, you're not conscious in a dream. Of course not. Yeah. Guys, thank you for watching this extra long episode, a special Halloween episode of the Not Bad Podcast. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. You did intro with voice and, and no ultra leave a with comment. You gay, Do you have oh voice? shit! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fucking sorry. boomer. <clears throat> Thank you for watching the Not Bad podcast. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It'll be greatly appreciated. Are you happy? You gotta tell them to comment and subscribe. Also, leave a comment and maybe consider subscribing. Tell them to leave a like. Here he did. I already told tell, them to tell leave them a them like. To, I don't know. Tell them to rate five stars. This is not like 1991. <laughs> this is a Yelp. YouTube actually had a rating system like that, by the way. Like you have to rate a video. Anyways, thank you for thank you for listening to this uh, Halloween podcast. You have no idea how how much we postponed this. Genuinely, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's Monday, right? Four days. Yeah. Four days. No, Usually, it's Halloween day. It's Halloween day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, Halloween. The magic. Halloween. See what you did? Oh my What's god. What's next? You say that the queen's not the queen of England. I'm sorry, guys. Slave labor. That was also one of the topics.